Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Grief Drums and welcome back to another episode of Top 3 Tips of the Week. This is a video series in which, as the name suggests, I come to you each week and break down three tips in the hope of helping you improve your game. If you want to get involved and submit any of your own tips and tricks, please head on over to my Discord, the link is going to be down in the description below, or alternatively send me a Facebook or Twitter message. So tip number one for today is going to be this, have you ever spawned here, come around here and just died instantly? to someone that you can't even see because as far as I can see there's no one there unless of course you crouch and if you do crouch that bar has been covering someone the whole time you wouldn't have even seen them and they can get a clear line of sight onto you now this is a really old spawn peak it is an oldie but a goodie this is one that people seem to have forgotten about and they don't really check for it that much anymore and even if they do check for it you're still going to catch them out as you're going to see here the second someone sticks their head around that spawn, they are dead. They do not stand a chance. And even if they do sort of do a slow peek, as you saw in the first clip, that bar is going to protect them. So all you're going to have to do is shoot out this barrier, the barricade, and shoot out, you know, that window itself. Uh, lie down and you have a clear line of sight of anyone that is coming up from that river dock spawn. This is really cheeky and disgusting. As soon as anyone tries to contest it on behalf of their dead teammates, you can go ahead and take their head off as well. As I said, this isn't a brand new tip. This is an old one, but hopefully you can get some use from it. Tip number two for today is going to be this. How many times has Mira been playing in the connector? And, you know, they might have got a castle barricade in the window, but the floor below her is destructible. Have you used this? Because I know a lot of people don't ever try and contest the mirror through this lower window. It's a really good line of sight that can be made and it's a really simple and effective way to clear out anyone that's in connector. They don't have to be mirror, but you shoot out that lower window and if you've got an Ash or a Zofia, even someone like Sledge or Buck with grenades, put a couple of those onto the connector floor and anyone that's trying to play in there is going to be absolutely bricking it. As you can clearly see, by putting one next to the fan, it opens up just under the window, but the whole floor in here you can reach from that downstairs window and it's going to be really strong and really effective. Um, I got hit there by that ash round going off. Luckily, it wasn't too much. Um, you can't actually see my health on here because we are doing it on a uh, tactical realism mode. But nevertheless, rather than repelling up to the main window, surprise them. Take out the window below, hit them from the floor below, just ruin their day, make them uncomfortable, make it so they don't want to sit in the connector. You can even hold sort of transitions and people trying to rotate through the connector from this downstairs area and the window above they can't actually jump out from. Tip number three for today is going to take us on over to Hereford. How many times have you pushed the ammo and tractor storage upstairs only to find that it's actually a really difficult site to contend? Very often people will try and push the south balcony window over here and there's going to be someone playing in tractor itself just on the, uh, the southwest side. They're very well hidden, they're very obscured uh, and they're difficult to get to. So this tip is going to take us to a uh, floor below so that we can actually contend this. Now Buck is the ideal operator for this. He is just brilliant for it. But if you come over here and open this section of wall, you may hear that the hatch is gone as well in that one shot. From there, it's just as simple as throwing up a grenade, aiming towards that white patch you can see up there, and you're going to take anyone out that's there. Obviously, if they've got Jaeger ADS, it may be a little bit harder. But if someone's at the south window and can burn that ADS, even better. Now, this isn't a difficult grenade to land at all. It's not one of those wow. you sort of have to hit it off the third beam on the left-hand side of the second row. You know what I mean? You don't need to do any of that. It's quite literally just a case if someone's hunkering down up there, if you can safely get in below, you figure out that they're there, you put one shot onto the wall, which in turn gets the hatch as well. As I did say, just above this dirt patch here on the wall, this faded bit, that will get both of them. And then from there, just take a step forward, aim up roughly towards that white bit, and the grenade is going to land directly at their feet, ruining their day and allowing anyone on the south balcony to safely push into the site. I'm afraid that's going to be it for today's video, but please let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Are these tips that you already knew about? Are they ones that you've used before? Or have you never seen them and you're going to try and use them? Or do you think they're completely useless? You know, I mean, I know a lot of these pixel peaks, people say, I don't like using them. They're rubbish. They don't bag me any kills. Whereas personally for me, I managed to get quite a few kills from these dirty little peaks and like tiny little angles that people don't know about. Call it cheap, call it whatever you want. But uh, hey, if it gives you the rank up, then whatever, you know. As long as it's not a glitch or, you know, proper hacks, I'm all for it, pixel peaks or not. If you did enjoy this video, please consider hitting that thumbs up. And if you don't already, make sure to subscribe for all things Rainbow Six. 
As I said in the intro, if you want to get involved, head on over to the Discord, Twitter, or Facebook. Let me know any tips and tricks you've got, uh, and I'll try and include them in future videos. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay reckless and relentless. Bye.